Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for all of his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. Welcome followers of the path. Welcome Rosarians. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation and the author of the Book of Love that you can order at Amazon. A link is in the description box below. Our topic today is gathering in the saints and what it means. Are we together in the saints? Are we commanded through Daniel 12.3 to bring in the righteous, to bring many people to righteousness, and then in this way gathering in the saints because the saints are the righteous people? How do we know all that? Is it not written in the Bible that the righteous deeds of the saints will be the white garments that will be given to us? Now, if the saints are connected to the righteous, then it's clearly to see that the bringing as many people to righteousness means gathering in the saints. And where do we see that? We see it in the book of Acts. And before that, we see it in the first Corinthians 16, where the people are addicted to the gathering of the saints, where the people are coming together to look for all the saints that are around there and to come to Christ, to bring as many people to righteousness to their house churches. And then we see it in the book of Acts where Paul is always saying that there are special people who are dedicated to this work. And why they are special people? In my opinion, clearly, because they, are, they have some special work done and they are the elders at this time who have maybe their own house churches where the people can come together. And this is similar to what our ministry is doing. We are bringing and establishing societies of the rose house churches or places where the people can be together. It does not have to be a house. It can be any other place too, where two or three people are together in my name. I will be with you, says the Lord. We do not need a church or a building or a temple or anything because we are the temple. Our body is the temple and our father is living in our heart. So we should follow the example of the first Christians and come together in our private places so that we be empowered through teachings, through learnings, through understanding of the verses, and then go out into the ways and byways and spread the light into the neighborhoods to lift up the needy, the nameless and faceless, to do something with the power we have received not to leave the power somewhere else and then go back into the world. The societies of the rose and the assemblies of love and righteousness are the way how you can separate yourself from the world. Also, you are still in the world. Forget about your careers, your luxuries, your worldly activities. Come out, concentrate on the advancing of the kingdom because the kingdom's economy is winning souls. It's not making money, it's winning souls. And we can build it, we can come together, and you can also establish a society of the rose, become an elder of Triple Grace. Have a look at our Patreon page, there we see, there you can see that you become an elder, a state leader or a national leader. Just step forward, do a leap of faith and become an elder and establish your own society of the rose, your own assembly of love and righteousness in your house, in your neighborhood. Show forth the love of the Father to the people sur surrounding you, so that you will be separated from the world and that the people will recognize you, that you do something special. They will say, this is not the normal Christian, this is something special. You will be addicted to the gathering of the saints. And the gathering of the saints is a multitude clothed in white that will stand at the base of Mount Zion at the sixth seal and will be raptured into paradise to be with the Father Yahweh and the only begotten Son Jesus Christ forever and ever. 
Now is the time to step forward. Now is the time to come out, because very soon darkness will fall over the land and the Antichrist will take over the world. And then in the world you take the mark or you die. But if you are separated from the world, you will be protected under the wings of the Father and you will survive and you will be stand as a living person and as a living saint in front of the throne of glory on top of Mount Zion. And the Father will tell you, well done, my servant, well done. And this is what we want to hear. So spread your wings, come forward, step into your power, step into the glory that the Father has given you, and let your light shine into your neighborhoods, establish societies of the rose, assemblies of love and righteousness. Let nothing stop you. There will be people coming against you, but the enemy cannot stand against the move of the Lord. This is the time now for you to come out, to come forth, and to gather in the saints. Thank you that you have listened to this topic today. Please watch all the videos that I have put up on our YouTube channel. Sign up for our website, triple grace.com. It's free. Just use an email and a password. Then you can use all the resources there about the Great Exodus, about Zul to Army, about Mount Zion. Everything is there. Just have a look. And then, if you have questions, and I know you will have, send them to me at our ministry email, triplegrace55 at gmail.com. And I will answer them right away. If you're interested in the Book of Love, you can order it at Amazon. A link is in the description box below. If you want to sow in the ministry, because this is a full-time ministry, and to help us, or to help us in our mission to Cambodia, to establish societies of the Rose in Asia, then I will put a link in the first pit comment. And also there I will put a link to the challenge of a pure heart. Have you taken the challenge of a pure heart yet? If not, then follow the link, watch the video, and go to the site to take the challenge, to see if you can compare with a first Christian of the Book of Acts. It's a great challenge. Take it. I hope I will see you again tomorrow and I will close for today. May God bless you and your family abundantly. My name is Michael and I will see you again tomorrow. Maranatha.